name is Norhai Fanadi Rabinti Mama Isha. My name is Ahmad Kuwim bin Jamaluddin. My name is Nur Jazlin Abidoma Izairi. And I'm Mama Shakir bin Abdul Razak. We are going to present about univariate modeling techniques and we choose Padini Holding Berhad as a company chosen for this project. So, let's get started. Introduction Padini was formed by Young Pachan in 1971. At the early stage of Padini's journey, Padini sells garment and supply wholesales to the department store in Malaysia. Recently, Padini have become one of the most influential and top brands regarding its fast fashion design. There are more other brands under the Padini Holdings Berhad, which are Vinci, Seed, PDI, Padini Authentic. Uh, as in June 2020, Parini has uh, opened 141 stores located around the peninsula of Malaysia. Most importantly, Parini has been listed in Bursa, Malaysia under the code of 7052 and it is a Malaysia-based investment company. Research objective to study the patent investment price of Parini throughout the year 2020 until 2021 and to determine the most suitable model to fit the data series and also to generate forecast values for Padini's market price. We move on to data description. As you can see, there is a graph from the data of Padini's stock market price which is obtained from Yahoo Finance. The total number of observations are 244 data which are taken from November 2020 until November 2021. The estimation part has 183 observations while evaluation part has 61 observations. From this graph, Independent variable is close price of Padini stock market, while dependent variable is date based on monthly. For the method of analysis, we use four models which are net forecast, average forecast, single exponential smoothing, and double exponential smoothing. For the first one is net forecast. This model strongly believes that what happens today will happen again tomorrow or any other time in the future. This model works best when the actual historical data series contains no describable pattern. It performs well in series which exhibit a slow change in the fluctuations and sudden change in the current data would severely affect the accuracy of the forecast values. This model is a benchmark model which usually pitted against more complex models. Mathematically, the model can be represented as Ft plus m equal to yt. The second method is average forecast. This method assumes that the forecast value equals to the average value of the data series over the historical time period the data were collected. This method performs when the historical time series contains no discovery pattern, significant drop or growth. For series that fluctuate randomly around a constant value, the mean of the data set provides a good estimate of the forecast value. However, the existence of extreme values may significantly influence the outcome of the forecast. Average forecast can be represented as Ft plus m equal to total of yt divided by total of number observations in the time series. Next, single exponential smoothing technique is the simplest form of the model within the family of exponential smoothing techniques. It requires only one smoothing constant parameter alpha to generate the fitted values and hence forecast. In this model, forecast for the next and all subsequent periods are determined by adjusting the current period forecast by a portion of the difference between the current forecast and the current answer value. This is described in terms of minimum errors of residual. The equation is Ft plus 1 equal to alpha yt plus 1 minus alpha times Ft. The last method is double exponential smoothing technique. This method is also known as Brown's method. It is useful for series that exhibits a linear trend characteristic. The basic idea behind this technique is to introduce a term to take into account the possibility of a series exhibiting some form of trend. There are four main equations involved that there are ST, S prime T, AT, and BT. Then forecast for M step ahead are computed using the equation FT plus M equal to AT plus BTM. MSE is standard criterion of error measure is used for assessing the model's fitness to a particular series of data. It is considered as the most appropriate measure to determine which method avoid large errors. In other words, an incidence of a large error would significantly influence the value of MSE. 
Other than MNC, we have mean absolute percentage error mapping. It measures lies in its relevancy as it is valid for ratio scale data. It is potentially explosive for large forecast error when the actual observations are close to zero. Next, I will proceed with the analysis and result part A. This is our timeline graph. The linear trend line arises to the equation as shown. Black dash color indicate the regression line show an increasing straight line for the whole month. The graph start to increase on 9 November 2020 and decrease back at the middle of December 2021. The graph reached the highest peak with 3.30 value in the middle of April 2021. For analysis and result part B, I'll start with the night forecast. After we got our pertinent data from Yahoo Finance, we divided our data into two parts which are estimation part and evaluation part. Three of four of the data became an estimation part and the balance is evaluation part. Then we proceed to find the fitted value by using one step ahead forecast. Then we got forecast value is 3.09. The value for error stretch we got from the chart of gross price minus fitted for absolute percentage error. We use this equation to get the value. After all the calculations, we got MSC and MAPER for estimations and evaluation type using its own equation. As we can see, this is the result of close price Padini using average forecast by SL. The graph shows that it has one straight fitted line between the trend line of close price. Then, we get the average forecast for the close price of Padini in 6 November 2001 that met in 5 November 2001 is 2.911311. From the calculation, the value of mean square error for estimation part is 0.034419 while the evaluation part is 0.035937. On the other hand, the value for mean of absolute percentage error for estimation part is 4.752643 while the evolution part is 5.771959. Next is single exponential smoothing. The alpha used in this model is own of which is 0.2. When we substitute the alpha into the general equation of single exponential smoothing, the forecast value obtained is RM3.10. The forecast value increased by RM0.015 uh, which is higher than the previous close price value. The MSC result for the estimation result is 1.8553 while for the evaluation part, the result is 0.2588. As for the mean absolute percent error, known as MAPE, the result for the estimation part is 2.6886, while for the evaluation part, the result is equal to 1.7129. Next, double exponential smoothing. As you can see, there has a graph and tables which are obtained from this model. The alpha used in this model is own alpha, which is 0.2. The result for the actual forecast value in Padini Company is RM 3.08 which is lower than the previous close price value by RM 0.005. The result for MSE estimation is 1.020212 while the result for the MSE evaluation is 0.164576. As for the MAPE, the result obtained for the estimation part is 1.926271 while for the evaluation part, the result obtained is 1.369829. Error measure. Based on the table above, the best forecast method is by using the nine forecast. This is because between the three other models, nine forecast has the smallest value of MSE and MAPE for both evaluation part. Lastly, conclusion. Nine forecast, average forecast, single exponential smoothing, and double exponential smoothing are the four models that have been applied uh, in this data. A good forecast model is one that consistently produces good forecast values. The error measures applied in this observation are mean square error, MSE, and mean absolute percentage error, MAPE. After the four model has been applied, we are able to determine the most suitable mathematical model to fit the data series, which is 9 forecast, with the lowest MSE and MAPE in evaluation part.